us discuss methods of differentiation. Now, methods of differentiation. methods of differentiation. First one is substitution second one is logarithmic differentiation logarithmic differentiation. logarithmic differentiation, implicit differentiation, fourth one is function of function, function derivative of one function with respect to another function, another function derivative of one function with respect to another function. So, let us do one by one substitution method now. method of substitution. Suppose, let us consider one example, y is equal to tan inverse 2 x by 1 minus x square. Then, d y by d x is equal to question mark. So, these kind of problems you see if you do, you will get very lengthy method or some tedious method. So, in order to make it easy, better, better we adopt the substitution method. See, in this problem, let us do like this. So, given y is equal to tan inverse 2 x by 1 minus x square. Now, put x is equal to so, this appears to be 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta form. So, let us substitute x is equal to tan theta. Then this becomes y tan inverse of 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. See what does 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta? That is tan 2 theta tan inverse of tan 2 theta, we have the formula in inverse trigonometric functions. Tan inverse of tan x is equal to x. So, this can be written 2 theta. Since x is equal to tan theta, that implies theta is equal to tan inverse x using inverse trigonometric functions or inverse of the function this can be written as 2 tan inverse x. That means, tan inverse of 2 x by 1 minus x square is same as 2 tan inverse x. So, the derivative of this d y by d x is nothing but derivative of 2 tan inverse x. So, differentiate with respect to x. Therefore, d y by d x is equal to 2 into d by d x of tan inverse x. So, 2 into 1 by 1 plus x square. So, answer is 2 by 1 plus x square. See how the problem can be made very simple. So, this is called methods substitution method. This is called method of substitution or substitution method. So, now let us move to the logarithmic differentiation. Suppose 
consider some examples x to the power of x x to the power of sin x sin x to the power of x or x to the power of x to the power of dash dash infinity so these kind of problems cannot be done directly unless we apply the logarithm to this function so that this is known as logarithmic differentiation so for example here see one theorem we shall discuss let u comma v be the two derivable functions functions on r then d by dx of u to the power of v so let us see how to find out this one so for this one let us suppose y is equal to u to the power of v both u and v are the functions of x only so now apply log logarithms on both sides to the base e this becomes log y is equal to log u to the power of v from logarithms we know power rule log x to the power of n is nothing but n times log x so this can be written v log u differentiate with respect to x now d by dx of log y is equal to d by dx of v log u in the previous episodes already we have discussed in the previous introduction the derivative of log y means first log differentiation then next y differentiation 1 by y into dy by dx is equal to this is uv formula v into d by dx of log u plus log u into dv by dx now dy by dx can be written y multiplied by v into 1 by u du by dx plus log u dv by dx now y is nothing but u to the power of v v by u du by dx plus log u dv by dx so the formula need not be remembered the process you see this process is known as logarithmic differentiation we apply the logarithms then we find the differentiation that's why this method is known as logarithmic differentiation u to the power of v differentiation is u to the power of v into v by u du by dx plus log u and dv by dx